Hello, I am at work for half day today. I'm just about to pack up and get ready to leave. Because I took the afternoon off, I thought it would be fun to take you on a little field trip to see this really cool thing that has popped up off the side of a freeway off ramp here in Reno, Nevada. Let's pack it up and head on out of here. It is Friday. I'm sure not everybody gets as excited as I do when you see this many painted rocks in one place, but because you're driving and it's not safe and there's also nowhere to pull off right here on this off ramp, I went ahead and parked nearby and walked to get a better look at all of these awesome rocks. I'm not exactly sure how long this has been here, but I've been aware of it for at least three to four years, but it was not this robust when I first noticed it. So what I saw several years ago was a lot of faces drawn on with sharpies kind of like this big guy right here but there was not as much bright paint now there's a lot more brightly colored rocks that make it much more noticeable from the actual road i also don't know who is responsible for all of the art out here on these rocks if they are a member of our local rock group it's not something that they are vocal about and I think that that's kind of cool I think the mystery is part of the amazing thing of this it's very much in line with the mission behind the kindness rocks project and just putting these pieces of art out in the community to brighten the day of a stranger or to make someone smile or you know you're stopped at the light waiting to turn after you get off the freeway and you notice all of these happy, brightly colored rocks. I also brought along a few rocks to leave as a contribution to this rock garden and I hope that they make someone smile who might be walking by if they do walk this way or if the original artist comes by and adds more rocks to their garden. I also love that they kept with their original theme of the faces and that you see all of these diverse faces and they have all these different expressions from happy to surprise to just all different kinds of expressions and I think it's they're brought to life even more now that there's paint and not just the sharpies. I just love the theme of all the faces and that you see masks so it kind of it's almost like a scrapbook of what what's been going on in Reno for the past several years. I do want to pause right here and take a peek at this rock and just as a reminder of why it's important to seal your painted rocks. When you seal them, it will prevent the paint from peeling up like this and the danger of this is, is that it could peel up and become an environmental hazard or an animal or a little bird could come along and think it's food and try and eat it and then they could get sick. So it's just really important to seal your rocks. And if you like the matte look, you can get spray sealers that are matte and not glossy. I think most of these rocks are holding up amazingly considering that they're out in the direct sunlight most of the day. The curious person in me would just love to meet the artist and learn about what inspired them to do this, but there's also a part of me that just respects the mystery of this and how cool it is and how large it has gotten.
it is windy out there. How cool was that? Aren't those the coolest painted rocks and that it's just kind of organically growing on the side of the freeway? I just thought it was a really cool thing and hope you enjoyed our little field trip today and I will see you next time. Bye.